is up guys welcome back to the part two of how to get better performance slash fps on apocalypse rising 2 or any other roblox game i'm mainly pushing this towards apocalypse rising 2 um if i don't do it in this video i will do it in another video showing like be the before and after of this performance like how much frames i have so first of all i i'm making this because i forgot a couple things in the other video and i didn't want to make it too long there will only be three things in this video so but they're pretty important so first of all you want to click the link in the description and it'll send you to here this is the roblox fps unlocker Basically, Roblox caps out your FPS at 60, unless you have this, like, they don't- I don't know why they do it, but they do it, and you cannot get banned for using this, and this is not a virus. Pretty much every YouTuber you probably watch uses this, or just general people that play the game. So what you want to do is, if you have a 64-bit operating system, you want to click 64. Most likely, you'll have 64 if you're on Windows 10, but if you don't, click 32-bit. So, you want to click that and then it will download up here. Now, I already have this, but I'm gonna show you the steps on how you um, get it to a actual file that you can run, and then it'll just, you don't have to run it every time you play Roblox, it's just there. So you wanna open the file location. I'm going to drag this into my I don't know, three objects. Okay, here we go. So you'll see something like this. Okay, and so what you want to do is if you have WinRAR, if you, um, you'll be, it'll show something like this. If you don't have WinRAR, that it should just say like, um, extract or unzip somewhere. And if you don't have any unzipping software, um, look up a video on how to download it. This is, I'm trying to make this short, so what you want to do is you want to click Extract Files and then press OK. Oh. Press OK. And then something like this should pop up. And you want to double click it and it'll show something like this. You want to open it, it will pop up a menu like this here it'll check for updates which mine might need to update i don't know if it um okay well basically that's it now you get you can yes gamer juice okay um now you can have more than 60 fps in any roblox game this really helps if you have a high-end computer that can just, like, it always says you have 60 FPS and you don't know how to not have 60 FPS. So, that's it. That's all you had to do for the, um, not having 60 FPS and having, like, 100, 200 frames a second. Now, what you want to do is you want to, if you have a battery down here, you want to right-click it and click power options. But if you don't have a battery down there, you want to go over here, you want to press the Windows key on your keyboard or go down and click like the search tab or the Windows button down there and then you want to type in edit power op plan and then open that up. Go back to power options, like up here it'll go back to power options and then it'll probably be on balance for you. So I'm just going to put that there. This probably won't be here for you. Most computers, they don't have this. If you're on a laptop, it will not be there for you. Um, you have to do some, like, stuff in the command prompt to make it show on laptops. But, I'm not going to be showing you how to get this because this is kind of complicated. I will be showing you a okay one. So, let me quickly delete this plan. You don't need this. This is just, like... Wait, like you, if you're using this, you, your laptop or computer. Ha Ooh, what am I saying? If you have a computer, it, you can use this. This is like the best you can do. But for a laptop, if you have this, you need to have it plugged in, or it'll just drain. Okay, so how if you don't have any of these, 
you don't need to worry about these, but you probably have energy saver and balance, maybe. And if you don't have any ones, if you have something that says, like, um, I don't know, like, gaming or something, or like high performance or something, use that. But if you don't, what you want to do is you want to click create power plan, and then you want to go high performance, and then just call it, like, I'll just call mine gaming. And you want to click next. And then you can edit all these. I'll just click create. And then boom, we have gaming. So now, if you have balanced, it's going to balance out like using your battery and performance. Like it, if you have energy saver, that's, look, my, my screen automatically turns darker. I don't know if it's showing that on the thing, but I'll, I'm just going to use ultimate performance. That's how you get better performance out of your entire thing. And now, that's the only things we're going to enhance um, FPS at. But now we're going to enhance the, um, like, your accuracy. So you're going to type in mouse settings. Go click that. Um, then you want to go over here and you want to click additional mouse options. You want to go over here, pointers options and then you want to click enhance pointer precision and then click apply and that's it that's all you got to do thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video bye